I'm not going. Oh, it takes three months to get a reservation to this place. I just don't want to be with these people. Oh, what Edward Albee hath wrought, beginning with his classic play and film, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? A new film, The Dinner, uh, reminded me of that movie, which really takes place in one night among two couples whose lives are slowly changed during the course of that evening that starts out light and kind of funny, darkly humorous, and turns into a twisted story of familial ties, mental illness, and many, many other things involving class. The Dinner stars Richard Gere as Stan Latham. He's a congressman who seems to be running in first place for governor. What is going on? It's a family matter, it's private. You are running for governor. Nothing is private. This is private and it will stay private. His wife is a trophy wife, played by Rebecca Hall. They are meeting for dinner at a very upscale, fancy restaurant with his brother Paul, who is the complete opposite of Stan. In fact, as the evening goes on, his brother's own battle with mental illness is slowly uncovered. And uh, his wife, Claire, dynamically played by Laura Linney, one of the best performances she's ever given on screen. This is a powerhouse supporting role from her, and I'm so happy to see her in this movie. I think she steals it, but the four of them are absolutely magnetic together. This is a movie that is full of dialogue, terrific opportunities for a group of great actors. It comes from writer-director Oren Moverman. Now, the meaning of what this dinner is for, why these two couples whose lives are really not uh, interspersed that much, why it's there, it involves their kids. So what's the subject at hand? You know what it is. It's about the boys. How much do you know? How much do you know? He's gonna turn us in. He's gonna turn us in, I know. These uh, two couples have gathered to figure out what to do about these kids. Much of this movie, much of these relationships and these characters are revealed in flashbacks as the evening goes along. So it switches back and forth from what has happened before to this dinner and what is going to happen and what they determine. It's fascinating to see the different decisions that each one of them makes, their own positions on this thing. This is the kind of movie that art house audiences, independent-minded film fans will find very intriguing, I think. It's intense stuff. But what a showcase for actors, and really nicely photographed here by Bobby Bukowski, who did the terrific 99 Homes. This comes from the book by Herman Koch. It was a bestseller. I think Moverman has brought it to the screen in a fine form. It's not a movie for everybody, but it's one that's fascinating to watch as it unfolds and tells us much about these people on screen and probably a little bit about ourselves. For this dinner, I say make a reservation. I say, go.